Hey, what's going on, guys? It's your boy, the MC Tam, and once we saw you, Tan Tiger 01, deep in gold dragon. Make sure to hit that like button, that subscribe button. Follow me on Twitter, Tan Tiger 01, Twitch at MC Tam and one Follow me on Instagram as well, and hit that bell notification button. I'm here to give you my thoughts on the Bangladesh versus India match. First match of the Group 4 stage, or the Super 4 stage. And I'll have to say, no, to answer the question that I asked in the title of the uh, preview match. No, no, of the preview to this match. Can Bangladesh even be competitive? I said, no. The, the, we got the answer, no, they can't even be competitive. Suicidal batting and haphazard bowling. Absolutely suicidal batting and... The bowling, uh, you know, where you had people, I, b I believe, like, off spinners, like, you know, trying to bowl uh, leg breaks and shit without even properly practicing it. Um, no, 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 no. Look. Go look back at the highlights and go look at how many wickets fell to good deliveries and how many wickets fell to bad deliveries. You'll see exactly what I mean. Bangladesh did not play to their potential by a long shot. By a long shot, they did not play to their potential. To this point, where now they have, now BCB actually called up Shamu Shakar and Imrul Kais, two people who are actually involved in playing a domestic game right now. I believe it was the, the, the third, day, third day just conc or concluded or something. Yeah. I don't know the full results of the match because ESPN Crick Info, the lazy the lazy and biased biased website that it is it's not it's not it's not it's not like you know paying attention to the boundless domestic that much i can't i can't follow the score I, I have to like you know you know follow it up using some news clips that are suggested to me on youtube but yeah shambo shakar and imrul kaiser are there I would expect Imrul Kais to replace Litton Das. Shambo Shaka, I still don't expect him to come in. Or I'd expect Imrul Kais to replace Nazmul Hussain Shanto. This was not the tournament to bring in Nazmul Hussain Shanto. Nazmul Hussain Shanto, Momin ul Haq, all of them put them in the tournament against, in the series, home series against Zimbabwe. Put all of them there. Rest Mushrik Rahim, rest, even if Mahmudullah wants it. Rest Mahmudullah, even rest Mashafi Motaza. No, you know what? Keep Mahmudullah in. Keep... No, no. Shakib will not be there. So keep Mahmudullah in. Rest Pashif Motaza and make Mahmudullah your, your, your interim captain for the Zimbabwe home series. But for this one, you, you could see uh, BCB's uh, thought pattern. First of all, they should have included... They should have uh, gone in fully prepared. Like, no, no, we have 16, we have enough. Nah, they should have gone in uh, fully prepared. So now this... Their mistakes are going to bite them in the ass right now. As for India, like I said, it's good, good to see Bhuvneshwar Kumar, who we, like, who, I'm still a fan of this, you know, this dude, especially when he, when he gets the ball swinging. Justin Bumrai probably will be, will be a problem. Ravinda Jadeja, you know, always, always very handy. Roy Sharma was in form, Shikhar Dhawan was in form, Ambati Raidu, Think about what you're doing. You are replaceable. But, but yeah, yeah. Yuzvinder Chahal had, you know, like you know, had a bit of an off day. But when Bangladesh scored 173, you, you can't really say an off day because, like you know, your required run rate is like less than 3.5. So whatever you did, it worked. Like even but Bangladesh committing so, so committing such a frantic suicide, it worked when. Your top scoring batsman is Mehdi Hassan Miraz, who actually was an opening batsman uh, in the or one of the top order batsmen in in the under 19 stage. You know, you, you know, you guys fucked up. And even the Bangladeshi commentator said that if you just stay in, look to rotate the strike and shit. You know, there are a lot of runs on this pitch. In indicating, even him indicated that the Bangladeshi. Players, they, the, the batsmen, they, they committed suicide, like, you know, in terms of their, their, their batting innings. Yeah, Mahmudullah had an inside edge, which we would, yeah, yeah, one bad decision. 
One bad decision. I'm sorry. This Bangladesh, Bangladesh just played like absolute shit today. I don't know. Maybe it's a travel fatigue and whatnot. But they have a chance to redeem themselves, and they have the only chance left to make it to, to redeem themselves to even think about making it to the finals. Do I think they make it to the finals? No. Do I think they're gonna win even one more game after after the other game that happened? Probably not. In fact, I don't think Bangladesh wins even one more game. Unless Bangladesh play a dead rubber. They don't win even one more game. Or maybe at maximum, they'll slightly edge past Afghanistan and then crash and burn in front of Pakistan. This is what I think is going to happen. As for India, like I said, um, you can't really say too much on this performance because this was... More of Bangladesh's suicide than India's good bowling. And more of Bangladesh's lack of rotating the strike than India, India's good fielding. In terms of the overall fielding, yeah, it was good. It was good. I didn't see the drop catches in the highlights. There were some questionable uh, umpire decisions. Like, yeah, I'm not referring to the LBW, I'm referring to the dead ball. But other than that, yeah. The way Bangladesh played, they, they, they absolutely deserve to lose this match. You know, kudos to India. They deserve to lose this match, Bangladesh. All right, that's about it. And uh, I will cover the next match uh, once I find the links and watch the highlights. Well, that's about it. Let me know what you thought about this match in the comment section below. And as always, hit that like and subscribe button. It's your boy, the Tamil Tunisian, the Big Gold Dragon, signing out.